Dr. Paul Brenner, a physician, counseling psychologist, and prostate cancer survivor. Do you see this, and what, what do you think accounts for this ennobling courage that seems so often to come along with a diagnosis of cancer? I love the phrase ennobling. Um, of all the things that I've gotten out, uh, there's so many things that I've received from people who have cancer. The nobility of what it is to be human, period. That we are noble people, and I don't think we realize it until that shock or whatever comes into our lives. I am amazed. I mean, for me to sit with a patient who has cancer and realize that they absolutely put me into the present moment. They're dealing with love, life, pain, fear, all of it simultaneously, and they're dealing and they handle it. Um, that's so true what you said. It's a noble, they're, they're noble people. Time. I always recommend that the family see the person that has the cancer in health. You know, if you're not with someone who doesn't see you well, and you have to put on an air that you are well to make yeah. them feel better, that's not the person you want to hang out with. That's true, and most of us, I can't speak for you all because I'm not a physician, but most of us on hearing the initial diagnosis go suddenly deaf at that moment uh, anyway, the minute the word cancer comes absolutely. out of the doctor's mouth. Absolutely. That's why I always suggest when you go to the doc, have a, have a family member there. Or a tape recorder or no Somebody, <laughs> because the doc keeps talking, but you're yeah. stuck back about four paragraphs. Mm -hmm. well, you need well, someone there. How much of a part can depression play in stalling your treatment or messing with your head when you're going through this? Well, if you look at the literature, the incidence of depression is very high. There are some reports of up to 80% with the diagnosis of cancer. But the impact of depression on cancer, there's, there's an equal amount of reports that say it has no impact. Physical impact physical on the impact, cancer itself. As there are that says it does impact five year survival. So we don't know, we really don't know. But depression should be really dealt with because it takes us out of life. That's, that's the real important piece. You know, it interferes with my normal activities and activities of daily living. Is there ever any reason to give a patient false hope? No, I don't think there's such a thing as false or, or hope. Or is it false? It depends, depends That's an oxymoron. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Brenner, how do you restore hope to those who have lost it? I really think there are things that people could do for themselves in which they could co-create in care. I do believe in visualization. To visualize their cancer going away. I do believe that visualization goes through the same pathways as our reality going through our brain. So the personal visualization is important. I ask them to write their life history down for their children. Sometimes actually a good video is wonderful. I ask them to write letters to people they love. I ask them to finish unfinished business. I ask them to see themselves in health and stay in the present. I ask them to really look at their life because the only thing that really counts in the whole journey through life is love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Malbus made me cry there. I love that answer. I love that answer too. Well, I think I speak for everybody on this panel when I say that cancer is a part of our past it is a part of our present because we choose to speak about it. And for the same reason, we'll be a part of our future. But it is not who we are. Cancer is not who anybody is. Just by your very presence here, you are visible proof that cancer is not an automatic death sentence. Uh -huh. Because you have all had it, and you, like me, we are all still on the right side of the grass. And that is it for this conversation about cancer. Thank you to all our panelists, Dr. Ernie Bodai, Dr. Bernadine Healy, Dr. Paul Brenner, and Dr. Richard Payne. I'm Linda Ellerby. Good night. <laughs>